Good evening guys and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. Charlie's sort of just as upset as me about the outcome of the football game today. Aren't you Charles? You a little upset? Um, yeah guys, I wish I had better news but we ended up losing by one point. Which stunk. Um, honestly, I feel bad for Jack too because um, the game was actually, we were only down one point at the beginning, which, okay, like the way the game ended up sort of going, analyzing it, the beginning of the game, um, I think the other team ended up scoring first maybe on their first, or no, I think we actually stopped them maybe on their first offensive drive or we somehow either fumbled, they fumbled the ball and we got it back or something ended up happening. Um, and then, uh, they, I think we couldn't move the ball on offense until our second to last offensive drive. Um, and so like I said, at some point early on, I actually think it was in the first quarter, they scored and it was, they got seven points plus the extra point. So um, they got the six, they got a touchdown and then an extra point. So they had seven points. Then second to last drive, we ended up scoring, but um, like, and the offense really didn't look like they could move the ball at the beginning. Then all of a sudden, they were just like, it seems like they were sort of clicking. They were able to move the ball. We were able to sort of march down the field. They ended up scoring. But for some reason, we ended up going for two-point conversion at the beginning of the game. And um, we ended up not making it. And for the most part, though, it was all run plays that were actually gaining us yardage. Um, so it, it sort of made a little bit of sense, I guess, to go for the two points. But I sort of kind of think that like it's early on in the game you sort of just go for the, like the one <laughs> um I don't know um but then we ended up missing it so at halftime um it was seven to six but right before halftime we had the ball again and with a little under a minute left I actually think we were within like the 30 or 40 yard line we were getting trucking moving the football yes last week I think the six or seven points whatever we ended up getting were the first points that we put up in a football game all season so and this is this week now is the fourth fourth week but um last week would have been the third week so the first two games we didn't score anything so again real positives we score already you know and again too this was the team that we ended up beating last year like i think 30 to 7 or something like that so um like I said, right before halftime, it was like under a minute. I think there was like 40, 50 seconds left or something like that. I don't think we were in the red zone yet. I want to say like 30, maybe 40 yard line, something like that, um, at least within there. Um, and so I was like, honestly, we can probably get maybe a, hopefully a couple more plays. We can, you know, just get this ball, um, you know, in the end zone within a minute. I was like, that'd be really awesome to go up, you know, like a, a touchdown, um, and, and be up at halftime. But they ended up fumbling the ball. Then the other team ends up getting it back. And then, um, I think they ended up the other team then ended up fumbling the ball again and we got it back with like 10 seconds left um and I think that they tried to pass the ball or something like that but they didn't end up getting it so anyways score like I said we're down one point then unfortunately second half starts off and this is where I feel so bad for Jack because so far this team had tried to do as many bizarre things as possible <laughs> I guess not bizarre things but just things that like are not safe sort of I guess in football to start off the game with well no they we kicked off to start off the game so um when they scored their touchdown they uh, originally actually ended up um onside kicking which is okay if it works for you and you end up getting the ball back that's great but there's also a chance and a you know, probability again, I don't really know what it would be, but, um, you know, a significant chance that the other team still ends up with the ball, and because you onside kicked it, most likely it's only going to be going to the 50-yard line, so the other team only has to go 50 yards to go and get a touchdown instead of keeping, kicking it deep and hoping that you can get your kids to get out there and stop somebody. However, the only way really we were able to move the ball in any of the last three games before this, I feel like, was actually on kickoff. So I think what they were thinking more was that they at least had a chance of getting the ball back if they ended up onside kicking it. Or if not, they got, you know, we get it at the 50-yard line, hopefully, so long as our kids fall on the ball. Um, 
or else again they have we have a chance of getting a touchdown if we wind they wind up kicking it deep and that almost happened in the end of the game i'll have to tell you guys that um but they only kicked it deep to us once and that was where we ended up at the 10 yard line i think or five yard line or something like that but that's for later in the story um so Second half starts, they kick off to us, the ball comes right dead center to Jack. It, he tried to like land on it, it's sort of like, I think his feet sort of got tangled up and like he ended up kicking it and um, they got the ball back. I was like, oh my goodness, this is like horrible because last week was the first time that Jack has ever been on kickoff or kickoff return. Um, I don't know if it was because somebody was sick or something like that, but, um, or I know that they had a lot of injuries last week, so that's why like Jack played like a lot of like the special teams whereas he normally doesn't end up playing special teams so um like i said they had him in there last week and i guess they just kept him in there this week again as well and that's when like i said it ended up kicking off his foot and the other team ended up getting it back um so that was really unfortunate and then they ended up going down the field and scoring off of that drive which again i feel like a little bit of momentum in the game could have either been had we come out just right away with our offense and ended up scoring or also too we just ended up scoring at the end of the second half and been up um like i said i feel like the momentum sort of in your favor but it is tough when you end up sort of either giving the ball over like we did at the end of the the first half or the beginning of the first half where like i said they end up getting the ball then like I said, the momentum has just sort of, you know, shifted a little bit. Um, but it wasn't too bad. We ended up going back and forth a couple times. They scored, we scored. Um, but for some reason, they ended up trying to kick a field goal once, I know. Um, and the, uh, so they scored a touchdown on a run play. Now, second half was nothing like the first half. The first half, I was like, wow, this is going to be a long, boring game. It went by super quick, too. Um, and then Matthew actually didn't show up until halftime anyway. Anyway, and my aunt and uncle ended up coming too. They actually completely surprised us because my mom texted everybody, I think sort of like family, general, like friends, stuff like that last night um, to ask if anybody wanted to come to the game sort of last minute. But my aunt and uncle actually did end up coming and they didn't text us until we were actually already at the football game because we went to go and watch the Frost Off game. So they were there too, but Matthew showed up, didn't wasn't able to get there until halftime. So he shows up at halftime. It was funny because I was telling him, I was like, this is a completely different game than what I saw in the first half. Like we were able to move the ball with such ease and like the drive though right before where we scored the touchdown like i said the second to last one not the fumble one but the one right before that my dad was telling me that yesterday in practice he was like because he's in charge of the offensive line and so far the offense again has not put up any points other than against pretty much backups last week so my dad was like really like i said sort of you know like hoping that the offense is just the offensive line that he can you know sort of get things right and fixed and hopefully again be able to score and you know again help the offense out and everything like that that was phenomenal. I have never like seen such good blocking like that I paid attention to because again too I knew that this was a little bit of one of the struggles that they were having so far in this season and I was like my dad needs to like fix this <laughs> like he needs to figure this out and he said that especially yesterday in practice they had such a good practice that he was like I have so much confidence in this team and they so proved it I never seen our linemen get out to linebackers like ever like most of Jack's like years of football even I feel like Matt Matthews, I don't really know because I like I said wasn't paying attention so much to that, but especially this season, I just knew because I watched like the first three games and I was like, this is definitely something they're struggling with. Like they can't get on blocks. Kids are just coming right in and tackling our quarterback before he even even get the ball. Um, you know, it was it was pretty bleak. <laughs> and so this week though, like I said, it was completely night and day. I was like, oh my gosh. One point I remember looking, there is like three of our offensive linemen completely sealed off a wall and here comes our running back around the corner. And here's where our running back is winds up getting chunks and chunks and chunks of yardage. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Um, so like I said, that was like the very last drive because I did I texted Matthew to ask him like if he was gonna when he was gonna be there and then I texted my dad and I was like oh my goodness that is some good blocking out there so I know that it was at least good enough that I noticed it right before halftime too which I, like I said I think was that drive then the other drive too like I said they were doing good but they ended up fumbling the football or something happened because like I said the other team ended up getting it back 
and I remember thinking they can't do that much with like you know again at this point it was like 30 seconds left but anyways um so again second half um you know like i said we were able to move the football everything like that but again knowing that our offensive line was blocking so well i just don't know why after the first touchdown that we got where we tried to run it in and didn't end up getting it um this then second two touchdowns that we got after that we tried to kick field goals the first one so i think that was maybe, I don't know what the final was. I want to say we either scored three or four touchdowns, which is awesome. But I think we only scored three touchdowns. But on the one um, touchdown, I know that the running back, who is normally the long snapper, got hurt. So Jack had to go in at long snapper. And he actually it was perfect, but the extra point ended up being blocked. Um, so, like, and the kick was good. Everything actually looked like it was perfect, but it was blocked. So, um, then, again, we go down, you know, I think they score defense for the most part seemed like sort of the sore thumb the last, this week and last week too. Like, I told you guys, I think every single drive, I think, last week, I don't think they ever punted away. If something happened, it might have, might have been a turnover, but every drive last week, they ended up scoring a touchdown off of. I, I don't even think they ever ended up going for, like, a three points, like, a field goal. Um, so, like I said, I, I know that the defense feels like to me right now is what's what's struggling last week I think and the previous weeks were definitely offensive line and it's weird though because the first week it actually seemed like everything against what I think is the best team that so far we faced we actually looked really good and this week though we looked up awesome but the defense didn't even look like they played as well as they did the first week um so like I said I don't I can't wrap my brain entirely around it but anyways um so Again, the other team gets the ball and they end up scoring. Then, like I said, we score. Um, and this time we go to kick a field goal and we end up missing it wide. Um, at least that's what apparently it was. Because it looked like it was close, but I guess it wasn't. So, um the you know referees are standing underneath there also too. There were some pretty bad questionable calls. Like we did have one where it was uh third and goal or fourth and goal and our defense is actually making a stand right now and end up getting uh on a pass play they end up getting an inter uh, or an interception but the referee ends up then calling pass interference on the kid that didn't get the interception but another kid that was near the play when it happened like I don't know but it was a super super late flag and it seemed like it was one of those again they were gonna oh if the outcome wasn't in the other team's favor because you know like then we'll throw the flag because it wasn't until after our kid came down with the football that they decided to get the flag out which is the same thing that happened last week um it just seems like if it you know again if it ends up messing something up like if the kid would other kid would have come down with the football and got a touchdown then they would have just not throwing the flag because why do you have to you don't need to throw it afterwards and you know it's sort of like eh, it was an iffy call whatever but then because our kid comes down with the football then you throw the flag like no it was either a foul or it wasn't you throw the flag or you don't you don't get to decide based on what happened in the play whether or not you want to throw a flag also to their the only time we ended up stopping them i think was maybe the first drive too where it literally play after play after play after play they got about 60 yards of penalties that was just all right in a row one after another after another they got about 60 yards worth of penalties all on really bizarre weird stuff like i think there was uh defensive blocking i not really heard that one <laughs> um like we got some really weird calls and then like you know they're like oh that's a 10 yard penalty that's five year penalty whatever which again i'm not saying that they weren't but then there were like just really weird penalties that just they were like oh that's encroachment that's encroachment i think two or three of those were in a row again i i don't know and i was like okay after the first one wouldn't our coach just be like guys back up a little bit off the line no it happens again and then i think it happened a third time it might have only been twice but i think i, I thought there was a third time because again the amount of yardage that they got didn't make any sense for <laughs> the amount of like it had to have been probably five at least penalties all right in a row um like i said consecutively and so but our defense actually stopped them they didn't end up getting in the end zone on that very very first drive so <laughs> then like at the very end of the game um so again we're down a couple but i think we had to have scored four touchdowns and to have still been up by that point but still down like extra points wise so it was really weird we were only up like five points or something like that but then they ended up scoring a touchdown i think we 
stop the extra point or maybe they ended up getting it or something like that so maybe we were only down we were down six prior to that something anyways we ended up losing though by one point and i feel like the weird sort of us not making the extra point but at the very end of the game this was the part where they kicked deep to us and our kid ends up running it back for like i don't know 70 yards or something like that down at like the five yard line with um at this point i think there's only about six minutes left in the game and i was like oh my gosh we're going to we're you know we're only down one point we're going to wind up scoring our very last drive of the game we ended up like i said they kicked it deep to us so they must have just scored and i think at that point they were up by one point so they kick it deep to us like i said our one kid runs it back crazy good you know play this like i said the only time in the whole game where they ended up kicking it deep to us and um they go like i said we were down at maybe the 5 10 yard line something like that then we end up doing a pitch play ending up at almost the 30 yard line and then next two plays or three plays or whatever um one of the kids ended up falling over actually was wide open wide open falls over in the end zone and doesn't catch the ball then there was another one where I think they tried to do a run play and only got like five yards or something like that but again they're backed up now all the way to 30 and then the very last play where they tried to roll the quarterback out and throw it and it was funny though because my dad said that the referee on our our sideline said that it was pass interference it looked like it to him but that because it wasn't on his side he couldn't call it but my dad was like but you managed to call other plays you know like other throw other you know flags where it wasn't on his sidelines but you know because again it might give one team the game or the other team like then they don't throw it i like i said guys i'm so, so sort of over the referees and like i said a lot like especially at the beginning of the game there were just so many it seemed like they just you know were so excited to be out there that they just had to keep throwing the flag out on the field because I really didn't see any of the stuff that they were seeing like there's again sometimes where I'm like I could definitely see that but there's other times where I'm like I don't understand I don't get it um and like I said two really weird calls that sometimes you don't even hear about and like I said too, the one that I thought was bad, like, you know, pass interference called against us, I didn't see. I didn't watch the whole thing because I was watching the quarterback when it happened and then I was sort of looking and I didn't see who he was trying to throw it to. And so I was like, oh, you know, like we're going to get the quarterback. And then I looked and then that's when, again, we ended up, I looked, he throws the ball, we intercept it. So the pass interference could have sort of happened before the fact and I just didn't see it. So I'm not saying that that didn't happen. I just don't know. Um, but like I said too, I actually, thought that the play at the end of the game that you know the one referee thought was pass interference I actually didn't think it was pass interference but that's the thing you throw the flag and then you converse as referees and decide if the guy on the other sideline saw the same thing as you also then you could be like yeah it was pass interference or no it's not pass interference whatever I mean you'll get upset you know like one team's gonna be upset because you didn't actually call it even though you threw a flag and the other team is gonna be mad if you do wind up calling it when you know they probably think that it really wasn't and maybe because again the guy on that sidelines couldn't see it like I said whatever it is but um I like I said I personally I didn't really actually think that it was pass interference but I thought the kid went made a play for the ball which was what our kid did in the other end zone that we got flagged for but they were trying to say that it was a kid that you know did something ahead of the play which could have also just been like defensive holding too or something like that um but yeah that that would be a case of defensive holding I don't know how there's defensive holding on a run play I don't I'd, I'd have to look in the rule books to figure that one out but like I said guys it was just a really sad unfortunate I like I said I feel bad for Jack I feel bad for some of those kids too that like because it was such a close game it's like you have one little mistake like the one kid that fumbled the football the one kid that ended up tripping in the end zone or like the one kid that doesn't wind up making the play on defense just like I said I there was a couple things there I was like we just would have done this if you just would have you know it's all those ifs <laughs> you know and I guess you can't think that way but it was really 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 tough especially by one point there was again opportunities out there where maybe you could have 
you know, again, ended up grabbing that one point, but I don't know. Um, I feel like it's also tough too, like on homecoming because they have all the festivities during the day and stuff like that. And everybody's, you know, thinking of those things and doing those type of stuff and not just their normal, like football Friday routine and stuff like that. So I feel like every once in a while, sometimes some kids heads are a little out of it, but I feel like for the most part, they were all pretty focused and dialed in and they all seemed like they were pretty like I said you know there wasn't a lot of like oh my gosh like they just completely you know like had really dumb mistakes and things like that like you know somebody just wasn't making tackles or they just didn't want to play or you know like I said whatever it was like just being lazy it didn't seem like that to me um but sometimes you get that just from like the homecoming day you know like you know tired and you know all this kind of stuff from you know having all those events and things like that going on but that's a tough thing too it's your homecoming game you lose by one point um again too when there's opportunities that you've sort of also left points up on the board um is also another really tough tough thing so I don't know guys I've talked enough <laughs> I just have to get this all off my chest because um like I said it's just I don't even know like I said I'll feel better about it eventually but right now it's just one of those things that I'm like this is just gonna keep bothering me and keep bothering me and like I said too I feel so bad for Jack because like he really felt like you know like if I would have just gotten the ball in that first drive maybe we would have went down and scored a touchdown and the you know back and forth would have been in our favor instead um you know like sort of situation or even to just even if they didn't they wouldn't have scored off of that drive and maybe time would have ran out before they were able to score again whatever it is um you know like jack felt like you know it was him but like you know i kept trying to like say in matthew too is like it's a team effort you know there's there's 11 people out on that field there's not it's just you there was 11 other kids that had an opportunity at some point in the game to make a play you know um, if it be, you know, a defense making a stop, if it was, you know, again, uh, a field goal kicker making the extra point, if it was a block being, you know, made properly, or, you know, like I said, that wasn't, didn't seem like to be too big of the problem, but, um, you know, like I said, a, uh, running back putting his shoulder down and grabbing a couple more yards, a couple more inches, you know, like I said, it's just, it's all of those things that could have happened and you know you can't again necessarily put that on one person because like I said too you could have looked at it like the kid wide open in the end zone should have had the football but yeah maybe Jack should have been able to catch the ball earlier on shouldn't have gotten the you know pass interference penalty whatever it is you know there's a lot of other playmakers out on the field and it's not just you know it doesn't just come down to one person it's not a solo sport where you only have yourself to blame you have other teammates that are out there to sort of you know pick you up and you know make a play for you when maybe you weren't able to again execute something but anyways guys i need to take a shower and get to bed i will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys